Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 26th. So this is uh, for right around the 26th, okay? This, this reading is not sign specific. This is a daily energy. It may or may not resonate with you. We're just going to see what comes up, all right? So we're going to use the vice versa deck, and I'm going to grab that in a minute, but we're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and we're just going to see what happens. Let's start with this deck right here. What do we have for 26 or thereabouts? This is a brand new camera. First video. Triple the cost of my last one. So let's see what happens. What do we got? What do we got for the 26? The magician, awareness, somebody is taking action to bring success. This is a card of willingness, willing to change, willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. This is also a card of manifestation, manifestation as above, so below. This is using your magic to get what you want. So somebody may have manifested something. That's also, you know, a oneness, a divine connection to, you know, the outer world. So, somebody is taking action to bring success. I mean, that's the meaning of the card. Highly aware of their own abilities. So, that's great. When you know that your potential, you can do whatever you want. So we got somebody here that is highly aware of what they can achieve. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Fantastic. So somebody is acting with an attitude of gratitude. And with that attitude of gratitude, only good things can come. So that's great. Aware. Somebody is highly aware you know, that they should be grateful for what they have. So that's fantastic. Anxiety. Now this is a card of fear. You know, what is anxiety caused by? Fear. So somebody is... Still fearful of what's to come. But it looks like they're taking action because the magician takes action to bring success. So yes, there is still a level of anxiety and fear, but I have a feeling that whatever it is that you are worried about, you really don't have to worry about it because you have the resources to be successful okay just remember remember to be thankful for where you are okay there's an opportunity that has been presented to somebody and i think that this the only thing that is probably hindering the success is fear so what just let the fear go let the fear go you have the resources to succeed This is a card of wish fulfillment. This is a card of hope, hoping for the best. Being at peace with where you're at. Letting your worries go, the Nine of Swords. This, the Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety, but you notice, you know, he's not looking at it. He's letting it go. Remember, what did I just say? Here, he's looking at the anxieties. He's looking at the fear. Here, he's letting it go. I just barely got done saying to let go. Let go of that fear. 
you have the opportunity to get whatever you want. And I believe it's funny because in yesterday's reading, I said, wish it, wish for it and it will come. But you, the thing is, is a lot of people make the mistake of putting a name on things. Leave the name out. Take me a minute to figure this one out. It's a little bit different than my other one. Anyhow, let me just bring this open because we're going to have to put some underneath it. But anyway, we have somebody here that is you know, leaving an unhealthy situation where you get this, this devil with his back turned. This is heartache. This is pain. This is this is painful. This is three of swords. Now this is a card of heaven, heaven sent as well. So and this is a card of protection. Somebody has been reeling from some sort of pain. Almost feeling I mean this is like stabbed right in the heart. And somebody's about to take a next take that next step. We have a change on the horizon. Something is about to change for the better because it's like with with this devil card. You know, this is a the devil is ego, and ego is based on, on fear. You know, and it's like, I'm, I'm going to face this fear. I'm going to face this anxiety. So we do have somebody that is about to take that next step and face their fear, even though maybe their fear their fear of losing, their fear of, of losing something, fear of change, fear of taking that next step. So we have somebody here that wants to do something, but fear is getting in the way, which is pretty normal, right? That's the that's what's going on here. I mean, three of swords, this is painful. This, this is painful. Somebody has been stabbed right in the heart. Hmm. Somebody's trying to find balance. They're trying to you know, juggle life, juggle money. Somebody is really stressing over their current circumstances when they really should be grateful. Grateful for this life. Grateful for all that you have. Be grateful for the experience, okay? Um... goodness so we have somebody here that I think we have somebody that's already made a decision they've made a decision to go after wish fulfillment even though they're very scared they're very very scared I feel like the decision has already been made here he was thinking about the decision here he's you know he's not thinking about it anymore okay it's like the ship has sailed you know uh Maybe it's too late. I don't know. Maybe maybe this person is, is fearful that it's too late. I don't know. This is a fresh start. Somebody is they may feel they may they may feel guilty. Somebody maybe may feel guilty or sad or really unhappy about not taking this risk sooner. They're fearful that it's too late. 
we, I think we have somebody here that has is is has seen or thinks that their ship has sailed. But there's still an opportunity to start over. There's still an opportunity for success. We have a love connection here with the lover's card. Brought to you from above. Did I not say protection? Okay, this is an angel. There's like two, this like, it's like there's this, this universal help from above that is trying to bring two people together. These people seem like they're opposite, but they're perfect for each other. And I think that we have somebody here that would like to, you know, seize the opportunity. But in order to seize the opportunity, they're really going to have to face their fears. Now, this is this is a lightning bolt. This is lightning striking. So this is this is a, a rapid change in direction. And this is a change too. So I think we have somebody here that is ready to go after what they want. They're very much ready. I'm ready to face my own demons. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to look fear like right in the face. They're ready to let go of their ego and their pride, whoever this is, and or they're ready to let go of their fears of whatever they're fearful of and you know take somebody by the hand. Now this 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 person is is quite different. This person is not who you expect them to be. This is not what you expected. This is probably not who you think it is. This is also a card of love heals. I think there has been a union that has probably painfully ended. You know, there's been a painful end in a partnership in which we have somebody here that is thinking that the ship has sailed, but there's still hope. There is still hope. This is rapid communication, fast forward movement. Somebody is about to face their fears and their demons. Leave the emotional disappointment behind with this Eight of Cups. I'm ready to take that next step. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is ready for a fresh start, whether it's with somebody new or somebody, you know, from the past. I don't know. We have a new beginning here. That's what this is. This is starting from scratch. This is starting with a clean slate. Somebody may be communicating. You guys see what's mirroring each other. They may be communicating that they just want to start over. Can we just start over? There's an opportunity to heal this painful heartbreak. Somebody's heart. Somebody's been stabbed in the heart, but this is a healing energy. So I feel like we have a basically a divine connection. I mean, this is as as above, so below. What's above heaven? And this is like a heaven sense. And this is like a heaven sense. So it's like there's an opportunity to have heaven down here on earth. If you face your fears and let pride and ego float right out the window. So I think we have somebody here that is about to... And it's going to happen suddenly. I think they may they may get some sudden urge to take that step. So let's get some more cards, why don't we? Four more cards. Look at somebody's facing their demons. We got somebody here that is finding the strength to face their demons. 
That's the strength card. That's the Empress facing the devil. So we could be dealing with Taurus. We could be dealing with a Capricorn. We could be dealing with a Gemini. We could be dealing with an Aries. We could be dealing with an Aquarius. We could be dealing with anybody. Because believe it or not, we have all these elements in our chart. So anyway, we do have somebody that is about ready to open up. We have somebody that is about ready to face their fears. I'm going to face my demons. I'm letting this anxiety go. I'm going to face it. So I have somebody here that is about to face their fears because they want a do-over. They Or they want to start over. Or they they want a new life. Or they want a new beginning. This is a new beginning here. Now whether this is somebody brand new or not. Whether somebody could be fearful of a commitment. Fearful of a union. Fearful of, you know, letting anybody love them because of their past hurts. Right? Once you've been stabbed in the heart, it is... It's really scary to let somebody love you again or to let or to let yourself love somebody. So, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to step, take a risk, you know, and Ooh, 6 of cups. That, you know what that is? 6 of cups. We all know what that is. One more card. Oh, it's flipping. We're going to take it. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's about ready to open up. Somebody that has been stubborn is about ready to open up. And it could be somebody from your past. Six of Cups, somebody from your past. Doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that you have a past life connection from or with. Now, somebody from the past, people get, people get caught up that this person is the person that, you know, there's only one person from your past. Wrong answer but I'm going to clear this up right now this person from the past may have broken your heart in the past or you may have broken theirs or they're suffering from some past heartache or you're suffering from some past heartache Memories of the past are on the table here. And somebody is needing to find the strength to face their fears, to face their demons about a union. Because now we got this unexpected opportunity for love. With somebody that you feel very familiar with. With somebody that you feel very comfortable with. Okay, you may have lived with this person before. Uh, this is a comfortable home life. I don't know. Maybe you lived with them for them in a past life. I don't know. This is an opportunity to have a comfortable home life. To have wealth and prosperity. So anyway, we have somebody here that is ready to open up after they have been stubbornly, you know, obsessed with protecting themselves or protecting something. So I feel like we have somebody here that is is probably going to get some sort of it's almost like a shocking epiphany. It's like a slap across the head or something like a that kind of thing. It's like the lightning bolt. Lightning strikes out of the blue. That's what happens with lightning. Somebody gets, you know, some sort of epiphany that, you know, time for me to take this next step because I want wish fulfillment. Oh, Emperor, we had this one the other day with his back turned. Something is about to... Catch on fire, unfortunately. You know, something's about, I mean, it is. The fire's still burning. That's what we got going on here. The fire is still burning. It hasn't been put out yet. There's still hope. But the emperor is somebody who is very dominant. This is a leader. This is somebody who is very wise. This is a man of great character. A 
typically he is ruled by society. But it looks like he's turning his back on society. His ego. I think we have somebody here that is about to take that next step. Because they see a bigger picture. Be prepared for a rapid change. Because that's what we got going on here. We got some sort... It looks like it's, a, it's this is a warrior. I mean, the emperor is a warrior. This is a very strong, strong masculine. That sees an opportunity for love. This man has the resources to succeed. And I think he's turning his back on the outside world to focus on his own needs. He may want to come home. Maybe he wants to go home. You've been waiting for that moment. He's been watching, waiting. So I don't know. I don't know who this reading is for. But be prepared for a very strong masculine to take action. His heart. He's looking at a broken heart. He is. He sees pain. Okay? And he, I think, because his heels, he may be, you know, taking action. Because remember, the magician takes action. He may be taking action to heal a broken heart. Whether this is somebody new or somebody from the past, be prepared for a very strong masculine who has his shit together to step into the picture. If this reading is for you. If you are the masculine watching this, you have the world in your hands. The opportunity, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. The opportunity is in your hands if you are the masculine. So for all you women out there that are going to get on your phone and chase, this reading is not for you. Good luck.